Nothing Phone 2A is launched in US at a very good price. Here Nothing Phone for just $449. How did they do it? Are there any corners that are cut or is there any catch about it? Well, we have been using the Nothing Phone 2A for more than two weeks and let me tell you all about it. But before starting guys, if you are here for the first time, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so you could get all latest updates from the tech world. So let's start the video. When I first picked up this phone and flipped it over, I instantly noticed two things cost cuttings. The back and the sides are plastic unlike glass and metal on the phone one and glyph lights are now reduced to just these three lights in the upper part of the phone. This does make the phone look and feel less premium than the phone 1 and phone 2. But other than that, the in-hand feel of the phone is very good. It feels extremely lightweight for a phone that is packing a 5000M IH battery and the matte finish of the frame makes it more grippy. For some reason, the black variant feels more grippy than the white one. The cameras are placed horizontally in the center and due to this, the phone doesn't wobble when placed on a table. And when you hold the phone in landscape while gaming, your fingers don't smudge the lenses that much. It's not the most pretty looking camera module, but it surely is functional. The Phone 2A is IP54 rated for dust and water resistance. I have been testing this phone without any case and it was in my bag, multiple other one released phones, keys, wallets and whatnot. And even after that, there are no major scratches on it. So that's pretty good. Now coming to the display, this is a 6.7 inch full HD AMOLED world 120Hz display that we generally see in this budget. One thing to note here is that the bezels have been trimmed throughout when compared to the phone one, one which is really good. Also you don't often see symmetrical bezels on the phone in this price segment. The display is fairly sharp and bright to use both indoors and outdoors the auto brightness sensor works very well. And in our testing the display even reached a higher peak brightness than what they have mentioned. I guess they are compensating for what happened with the nothing phone one brightness issue. There is also an in display fingerprint sensor placed at the bottom and works well. One thing you don't see in this segment is always on display with other phones. But you do get that here and the transition is very smooth just like Pixel. The stereo speakers sound very good and there is good separation as well and the haptics are well tuned. I do wish nothing gave A1.5 resolution in the phone as the competition like the Poco X6 does come with a 1.5K display with Gorilla Glass Victor's protection. The Nothing Phone 2A is one of those rare Android smartphones that doesn't come with any bloatware whatsoever. The phone runs on Nothing OS 2.5 based on Android 14 and will get 3 OS updates and 4 years of security patches. The UI is absolutely clean, clean. there are no ads or the bloatware, animations are very smooth be it opening an app, multitasking or shuffling between apps. Everything screams premiums premium in terms of software experience. The Nothing Phone 2A is powered by the custom MediaTek Dimensity 7200 Pro. Now the processor is based on TSMC's 4NM architecture while other phones in the segment are either 6NM or fabricated by Samsung so it is much more power efficient. Now coming on the cameras, both Moth Main and Ultra Wide are 50 MP Samsung's that are tuned very well to be more natural. Daylight shots are sharp, detailed and photos are similar to what you actually see with your own eyes. This is the only phone in the segment with the 50 MP Ultra Wide and the shots have very good details on them. So guys, this was my review on Nothing Phone 2A. What do you think guys, is this phone worth buying or not? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the tech related material then subscribe to this channel. And if you have any more questions about the Nothing Phone 2A, drop them down in comments. And I'll answer those. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.